An aircraft carrier is a warship that serves as a seagoing airbase, equipped with a full-length flight deck and facilities for carrying, arming, deploying, and recovering aircraft. What is the best aircraft carrier that the United States has? Currently, the Nimitz class of aircraft carriers. They are built from the same basic set of plans, so other than crew training, the Nimitz carriers are interchangeable parts. The USS George W. Bush. It is the last Nimitz class to be commissioned in 2009, and with a service life of 50, it will be viable until 2059. Upgrades could keep it floating and in use longer. USS George H.W. Bush features a combination air arm made up of multi-role aircraft, special mission aircraft, and transports. This includes the F.A. 18 Hornet and Super Hornet types, as well as airborne early warning and electronic warfare aircraft platforms. Search and rescue operations can involve her helicopter component, and transport is charged to both rotary wing and fixed wing systems in USN service. While generally defended by her accompanying fleet of warships and her air arm, the Bush features ranged and point defense armament through MiG-29, evolved Sea Sparrow surface-to-air missile launchers, and RIM-116 rolling airframe short-range surface-to-air missiles. Additionally, the RAM components can be supplanted by several 20mm Phalanx Gatling-style digitally controlled cannons. Armor protection reaches up to 2.5 thick at her most critical facings. We would have said the new Ford-class carrier Gerald R. Ford, as it is due to be the best and the most technologically advanced carrier in the U.S. inventory. Unfortunately, the ship is having a lot of difficulties with the integration of the F-35C, for which the ship was built so they would complement each other. The carrier cannot launch or land an F-35C on its deck. The new system for the Catabar system on the Ford is now powered by electricity and not steam. The Ford cannot generate enough power for its catapults or arrestor cables to be within safety standards. When the Ford and F-35C passed its sea trials, everything was working as it should. The Gerald R. Ford will be my choice of carrier. The Ford is still ironing out issues. Fords may someday get through all their problems. Currently, only 5 of 11 weapons elevators are certified. <laughs>